Hello everyone, welcome to Tips and Tricks. In the previous videos, we have seen that uh, chaining can be done in an even ground. So in this video, we are going to see what uh, what will happen or how we will uh, find the distance in a slopey or uneven ground. So uh, there are two methods available. The first one is direct method. In direct method, we will directly find the horizontal distance. Uh, we will uh, divide the whole distance into small small uh, segments and find the horizontal length. So I will get L1, L2 and L3 and so on. And till I reach my point P, I am going to find this. And my uh, final distance would be uh, uh, summation of Li. The disadvantage in this method is that while we are uh, finding the horizontal distance, the chain tends to sag and this leads to error. So we have to uh, limit the distance uh, to a shorter amount. So because of that, we have to do multiple number of sets. We have to repeat so much so that we don't get uh, the sag as minimum. So this method is not that effective. Next method is indirect method. An indirect method consists of three types in it. The first one is using a clinometer. And uh, if you don't know what is a clinometer, clinometer is used to find the angles in a sloping ground. Say this is my ground. And uh, in indirect method, unlike direct method, uh, here we will find the horizontal distance directly. Whereas in indirect method, we are going to find the sloping distance. So this is this is going to be easy when compared to direct method because sloping distance is easy in field to find it. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the sloping distance. And when uh, my measurement has to break, and when I have to take a break in my measurement, I will bring in my clinometer and I will find the angle that it makes with the horizontal. By doing this, I will uh, know in what distance, what is the angle. And then again, I will uh, repeat the same till I reach my point B. So my uh, using, from this triangle, you can understand that uh, by normal trigonometry, uh, this distance, this horizontal distance is equal to L cos theta. And uh, when multiple number of uh, sets are repeated in this, uh, we'll do summation to find the total distance which gives li cos theta i so this is using a clinometer uh, by using the angles next one is apnea level or other leveling instrument in this method we will uh, take a leveling instrument and we will find the difference in level between a and b and we'll find it and let it be h and now we know h, we will find the sloping distance and using a Pythagoras theorem which says hypotenuse square is equal to square of other two sides. From this we need to find d, so it is square root of hypotenuse minus the other side square. This is using the leveling instrument. The next one is hypotenusal allowance. This is a very important and interesting topic for gate. Uh, point of view. So uh, consider this triangle. Uh, I have my horizontal distance is one chain length and uh, but when I see uh, the sloping distance it is my one chain length plus bb dash. So if I know that my horizontal distance is going to be uh, say one chain length uh, it is going to uh, let us take it is going to be th 30 meters. And now I have to find the, uh, and uh, let me draw a vertical here. And now I have to find the sloping distance. What is the sloping distance I have to find? In this case, I can use hyper the formula of hypotenuse elements, which means it is going to be uh, 30 plus this uh, distance. And we have formula for this distance. If it is going to be a 30 meter chain, a 20 meter chain, our hypotenuse allowance is 50 into theta square into links uh, if the uh, if this is applicable if the theta is in radians theta is nothing but our uh, uh, angle and the links is we know that uh, for every chain the link is equal to 20 centimeter if we need the answer in meter it will be 0 0.2 meters if it is going to be in centimeter we can directly substitute it as 20 centimeter if my theta is going to be in degrees, then the formula changes to 15 by 1000 into theta square. Now, if I have, if I don't have the uh, angle, but I only have the slope, I have a slope of 1 in n, 
uh, I have it in that terms then I can use this formula of 50 divided by n square into links not number of links uh, the distance covered by one link uh, for a 30 meter chain the formula slightly changes it is not 50 it is 75 theta square into link distance of link which is always going to be 20 centimeter and for uh, the case of slope it is going to be 75 divided by n square into link uh, for a quick example consider a chain it is 30 meter chain and the slope is 1 in 5 so uh, my n value is equal to 5 and the formula is 75 by n square into links uh, and substituting the formula it is 75 divided by 5 into 5 into links a uh, link means it is uh, nothing but 20 centimeter so this gives me 3 so it is 3 into 0 0.2 which is nothing but 0 0.6 meters my hypotenuse allowance is going to be 0 0.6 meters so this is all about uh, chaining on an uneven or slopey ground please do like share and subscribe I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.